in terms of just finding that information safely because we have seen time and time again the powers of just a half investment, a powerful pistol in the right hands. And so getting this information the way JKS is and... Oh, God, he only gets a second to unload some map damage. And he does connect nicely onto Zywu. No one's down. I spoke too soon. Zywu caught through the floorboards and the rest. A lovely mop-up config and JKS. Their powers combined. He's coming up on that sandbag's peak. They're both... Oh, the timing's going to be... Oh, no, oh, sound the sound cue. They don't hear it. Everything's fine. We can calm down, oh. right? Right? Zywu evades the shots. And now it's all onto one-on-one. -on -one. Blame's coming in. It's rare to see Zywu mess these up. Trying to reposition the time is his best friend. He's taken cover just about time and Zywu will snatch it away with four of his own. Oh. All oh. right. Um, well, uh, that, we take those. Yeah, we definitely is take those. The bomb's down just on the other side of that wall. Oh, that's not... Oh, oh greed. <laughs> It's a hard adjustment, and just like that again, he's three for three on these openings in mid. Kyoja's been great on those boosts. That aim, that raw potential has just been slicing Ugh. through complexity here. And now Rush, well, he's hit some good shots. That's another, but this is really not his round to win. Yeah, but look how ahead of everything he is. He's so ahead of the util. One on one, every jewel isolated. This is brilliant. Rush has only got one more to find. Late arrival, and he's already hunting him. He knows where you're coming oh, from, and Rush. that is magnificent, Rush. We'll go for that plant tap in once, win the fight against Axile. Does win the fight against Shiro as well. Hold on a second. Bomb plant tapped again. Inch is going to stall for time though. Five seconds. And now Farvin's definitively got to go for the bomb plant. Yeah, get that bomb plan in. How does it just play this? Just wide swing out for the sniper's next position. Farfin with the HP numbers. Sees the player with the AK. Got to try and connect this final bullet to try and see if he can get the one versus three clutch in. He's got a little bit of utility to slice the right way. It swings out wide. And a massive clutch going the way of Sprat. Just what they needed from Farfin. Two versus three established. And Bobski, this late arrival could be perfect. They're not looking. There's no way they're looking. Now Zen demanded to clutch. He's been so good so far. Nine frags already and one in this round would need to leave with 12. That's not how maths works. He slipped the net. No kits on Astralis either. Zen could really continue this hot start he's had here on Ancient. Plant's not bad for him. Finding Bubski early and cleanly. Now he knows the hunt is on, tucks in. Dupree running out of time. He's getting ants in his pants. Zen not ready for it though in no time. That's another for FPX and a nice clutch from Zen who has come into Ancient blistering hot. Oof. On long now and there's Maiden, oh well found by Zipex. He's actually managed to level the odds here. He gets away with a second, not a third though. Stiko makes sure of that. The one-on-one -on -one is established and ladies and gentlemen, strap in because Stiko has not gone towards the site. Dupree and Stiko locked in a battle of wits. Here comes the sound cue and Dupree rewarded Ooh. for his patience. He will have his weapon out and he misses the shot. All of that waiting. Stiko's just sharper. That is if you haven't lost two players and are on a partial buy. Poor old Dupree. Great Molly. It's going to delay. Stiko hit some shots oh. and he could get them both. Provides one. Glaive steps up to the plate and the bomb's loose now. Astralis making this one a real fight. Maiden, That's so awesome. scoop up that bomb. There is a safe plant spot, but Glaive can advance on that. The longer he waits, oh, Maiden. He's in dire straits here. Fake it, Glaive confirms it's a fake. Maiden's got to get it down. It's safe enough. No, it's not. Bomb down, half health. Ahead of the flash, Glaive hunting him down. He even flashed himself. He's looking real good tonight. Zen needs this and he takes it. Diffuse gets on the floor now. Yeah, battle that Emmy cannot afford to lose. He's deterred Bobski for now. Time's ticking at a very rapid rate. He could just use the positioning alone to rot that clock. The pre-fire's there, it's a bit sketchy. They need to be on the bomb now, and it seems like Zen is gonna add another 1v-X no no straight to the situation, locks it down. Five versus three, bomb plant will be secured. G2 have the man advantage, however, and someone has got to change that here. With one frag round the corner with a broken ball. Second headshot landed as well, but Nexa finds that trade. So still G2 up by a player. 3v2 for this retake. The Seaside players forcing forward towards cross. They will overwhelm Nico in the end and now leave it all on Nexa and Amanek. One player without Kevlar, but Nexa still strikes with two headshots. Gets the 3k, gets the defuse for G2. Jack starts looking, oh. gets that one shot on OC. That's a hell of a drive-by. Can he find Marky next up? He'll look back. No oh, util that can force him out of smoke on towards the bomb. Perhaps to the ninja sees that shoulder peek in. Leans forward, sees his man, continues to burst. Fire, gets the kill in the end. Jax, what a clutch that was. And what a round it will be for G2. 
Flash is inbound. Amalek's going to peek forward. Dry. Caught off by the T-side. Flashbang. Counter flash. And Nexa allows the kill to come in against Fang. Nico opens up. JT's close as well. No further flashing. He's got to win the fight completely. Dry! And transfers to three. And straight up and out here for the T-side to gain that man advantage. Trying to see if they can get the opening start here. Showtime does have at least a trade off two available in him. Making it a 3k overall. And even the wrap coming through from the late position. fasten has got a perfect timing. Tessus, though, is starting to bring this back. The bomb is in their control, or at least they can see it from here, and they know where Fur is. Graves for AWP closer. ZQK. Trying to find angle. Tessus gets Fur back to now within one. And ZQK brings it to a 1v1. Tessus will have to get the ace if he wants to maintain this one. It's that bomb plant trying to force ZQK out of position. The AWP. Trying to push forward, trying to catch off the shot, and he connects it in the end. A little bit quicker to the quick scope. He finds the fourth round for Imperial. One player to his right hand side, Shush's low HP. Oh. Turning away at the wrong moment, two versus two. Can Imperial go for this here? Montov's in. Oh, Refresh loses the fight. Tess heard. AWP got a face away from. Nades back, nine points of health. Tess flashed out of angle. I think that bomb's not even planted for him either. Gonna continue with the flashes over, tapped once. Blinds off ZQK, the AWP doesn't take face. Someone's got to stick the bomb defuse right now. They've got 10 seconds to it. One good spray, lands on one man. AWP, not full stop, still sticking it for ZQK. And Tessus just holds the trade for his own 4K for the sixth round for Heroic. Six HP on his teammate. He knows he cannot afford to go down cleanly here. Oh. And he does. Mihu eliminates him. Wrecked. SDY's chances completely nullified, right? Six HP, and he's got them both. Straight shooting out of SDY. He floats around, he's finding picks, he's keeping them at bay here. Not able to get anything done whatsoever. Oh, no way. Not the Crouchy Deagles. It's starting to feel a little crazy. Mir catching one on Stan. That was something, but Magic's double on the long as they smoked it off with what little they had. Magic's undeterred by the he didn't even bullets look. Yeah, coming in from <laughs> Oba. He knows there's another prong. Shadow, barrel. Suck! Oh, and Magic's with a third on this deagle. Chill your beans here, Obo. Oh, oh! Breezy's actually gone down to a full Glock. That's a great find. Especially if Chopper could profit off this. Oh, Obo gets the info and the frag on the way back. Oh, more than that, just that. He's even got the info and the wall bang. Great finds. He's really looking comfortable. I think the thing with Obo, right, when we saw him in complexity, he was already, he, they, they used him as a weapon, right? As, as just a weapon of, of a raw aim, aggressively getting him in, using that mechanical ability of the youngster. I think the more time he has playing tier one Counter-Strike, that's when he's going to learn, uh, you know, all of these little details. And if you compare that with this aim, mm. get locked the hell out. Four kills for Robo right there. Little baby face killer, getting it done. This could be the final round of play, folks. First frag, need it from Obo. Again delivers. Peeking into Dexter. Dinked. Dink exchanged. 15. One HP sucks. Still not looking at Stands Monster. Here now. That bomb needs to be planted in the next five seconds. Sir can deny it. It's and over. he does. There's no time to plant. Spirit losing in the worst way they oh, can. No. Pushes for it. Stan will finish. Valda has to commit to the site. Alexi would love to get oh. across, and that's the fight he needed. So does Flames, providing another. Hiding by the bench. They are low, but lower, but Alexi keeps it competitive, and he's the one with the kit. They can time do this. this. Turning it on its head, and LNZ is the one responsible. Linus, what you got? Pressure right out of the game. Oh. It doesn't look like he's got enough time. Alexi will take the round. The thought that counts, right? Uh, maybe. I think it's the frags that count, and Mantu would have to find two of them. Rez didn't quite Ooh. clear his corners, and he does find the double demanded. This is doable for Nika. Armour dig. Device has to plant. He's only got 25 seconds to do it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Straight through the smoke. First bullet. And an AK. Hampus has got a scarper straight across. Spotted. He has been spotted. A flash for this fight. Hampus elevates. Oh. It's a good chance and a good spray. Nico makes it work. Hello. Hampus checked, and he still does well to find the first. And Nico loses his armored P250 privileges. A quick turn of the head from Flames. 180 on a dime, needs another. Device is the challenger, and he's gone. Good find. Now we've got a round. Plopsky has the kit, res two, and the bomb is on its way, or at least it's a battle for Flames. He's taking every single one. Oh, they Not need to easy get up there. To retrieve. 
Mantu does have to be reactive to the apartments as well. Rez is trying to distract as best he can. They crawl out towards the truck. They're in. But still, Rez spotted and deleted. Mantu just so stern. Hampers with the double. Popsky has a kit. Can they hold it? Five seconds and he's hunted he's down. It. Hampers the bodyguard. And NIP say play on. JW stuck so close towards them. Jame accounts for it. Goes looking to the backstab. Catches the backstab player. The three on two scenario. Kicker's head has been seen. And Brolin can get a frag for it. So even as we go, the VP are backing off. Sanji's just got to be the bait. Try and set that NWP up. He comes in. A third kill now down for James, and it all comes to Crims to clutch. And tap the bomb and the five second defuse. He's going to extend though, and Sanji's read it like a book. Headshots all he needs. M4 wins the fight though. James on five HP, and now Crims has got to get back on the bomb here. Tap it once. AWP will peek it. Heard the footstep. Seeing Crims right there. The M4 baited. The AK shot not connecting, and neither does the AWP either. But James is stalling for time. Eventually, will end up falling, but he's gotten enough out of this. The AWP's got to get picked up and recovered for Crims. His VP are taking five. Backed up by Brolin as well as VP trying to take the very fast entry here. Smokes down towards that cross. Incendiaries might stall for a few seconds. Or I does see James does take a secondary pick back. The five on two is game, but what can Yekindar do oh, here? Incredible sprays! 4K, not the ace! But Sanji's perfectly set up to deal with this! Fnatic. Trying to force one to gain an advantage. Kicker gives up a fight to Crims. That's a start back to the amount of advantage of the CT side. Now they pick him, keep aggressing, and this could actually be the play to get a little bit more, but James spots the angle out on the side. Oh, M4 loses his chance. Buster gets a trade back. And James got to fall away. No, the Chikino dropped off. No, he didn't, actually. Thinking he was still up at the entrance. And now Yekindar has got the clutch to hold. 22 HP. The bomb dropped. Chikino knows it. No one's going to try coming to support. How does Yekindar play this smoke down? Probably to grab it here. Akers and take the spray. Ugh. Pixels away. One tap's all he needs. And Fnatic. Now, Fnatic are forced to make their move. James is going to burn pretty heavily, but still get the kill on Brolin. Meanwhile, the bomb plant can be secured. They'll catch up Chikino as it does go down for Golden, but it's him and JW up to hold off against the retake, and James finds another kill, leaving it all to Golden. AK in hand, backed up to Ram, tripped in upon by the CT forces, wins out that first fight, needs to win out a handful more. James, the easiest player to find. Kicker takes face, secondary kill. AWP missed out as well. They're giving him the 1v1s here. Golden getting given the golden opportunities. But Bomb now got to be stuck on the defuse. James with the kit. Got to line up. Golden sees Sanji. Wins that fight. Whoa, he holds it. Golden with a clutch. And Fnatic stay alive. One HP, by the way. I, this is how good he knows he is. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm He's fine. fine. He's already got it. I'm fine, dude. They don't know. Who, they don't know what they're about to get hit by. One HP Zaiwu over on short. Whoop! There it is. Shiro on the receiving end, and the bomb now cut loose. Oh, the rap could be big. Nafani, even one kill is worth it on HP like this. And there's Zaiwu dead. Most importantly, Naf oh, oh, Nafani doesn't re-extend, but now he's got to, and Masu is not missing. Vitality and Masuta and Apex gonna just churn up Gambit. Oh. They were never even close, baby. Apex finding everyone. Three in the round. The big hat trick for Apex. Justin Ter's left alive. And well, his time is coming. Don't you worry. Shock's running him down. Get him There's out. just physically no time. Vitality to commit is a very scary sight indeed. Lots of utility being lined up. They're about to go. Oh. No, Kyojin! <laughs> so close, yet so far, Zai Wu is the man to crack open this site. And oh, he knows about the dice player, but maybe didn't come it across because somehow Nafani has oh. just sniped the round away. USP flicking on Rush, config, seeing his head. Dennis lands a perfect one again. 2v2. Gripping with their head stuck down. Spitty's the man that's got to get to the site. He's the player with the kit. Using those flashes to get in. Rush turned away from. JKS might not be seen to the back lines. P250 does get recovered for the long range. Good duel. Spinny seen. Glock out. Now JKS is it all to do here. Can he deny the bomb plant? Both Spinny and Dennis are going to set up for this. Kits in. Seen there. Tap through. Can't hit the shot. None of them connecting for JKS. Now the cross on the retake here in the round. Oh, this could still be very winnable for the CT side. Good utility out towards window. And Spinny's burning. Just a little bit. Flash forward, makes his way in. Spinny somehow comes up with a kill. Rush takes down one, but oh, AWP poison looks away at the moment. Rush has got to transform 180, but Cressy's doing his damage. He needs to win this fight, and he almost does on one HP. Rush barely keeps it together. The sigh of relief from JKS. 
straight in for poison. Look at this sequence of the AWP. Every frag going his way. He's found an angle. Back to 3v3. He swings back. Spin is caught looking the wrong way. Knows the orb so close. Mossor burns. Confi gets a kill. Cress is all alone. Rush on the site has seen one man in the back lines, completely unawares of where Spiddy is. JKS finally picks it back to a three versus two, tagged up the seven, still what? misses, kills alongside Rush. Spiddy's out of ammo, but the USP can still be enough. Six HP and eight HP for complexity. Oh, Spiddy, they're so low. All it's going to take is a couple of bullets to eat. <laughs> one versus two clutch just in the end. And for Sprout, they hold the defensive out of the B side. Oh, Convig, he could swing out from the palace position. Can he get the right timing? There's the one tap to the first. It's now all down to Farfen. All in the clutch. Flash and HE. Smoke back against the position, though. He's going to blind him off. Can you see Config? I think he just caught him. He'll see Rush definitely. Kill found. Smoke back on the bomb. AWP and Poison watching. Blind firing from Farfen. The flashbang comes in. The nade comes back out. Will that get Poison? It won't get Config, though. He's a diffuser. Oh, he's just killed off. Farben's held it. Diffuse came back on Poison. And a 1v3 keeps Sprout alive. That's the low HP player. Sonic could be everything, though. Smoke could go down. Dupree looking to get close towards the orange position. Bobson actually gets faked from OC. Now he takes a lot of damage. Bob's going to go for the all ball bang. Doesn't have to do so. Gets the USB instead against Sonic and 2 HP for OC. AWP versus Orpa on the CT forces. But the USP is only required to get his kill in his OC. Misses a shot. And Astralis claim four. Very clear they weren't quite ready for what ES were able to bring to the table today for this one for the Astralis side, but they have adjusted successfully. OC, however, and Sonic want to try to get those opening couple of kills. OC is successful, Sonic is not fang, can't find a trademark. He can, though. Three versus three's effect is super duper low, but he still finds the kill. His mark, he's not sure where to aim. OC still makes a double up happen, but the bomb's been dropped in the open, and they know here for the CT side. Molotov's inbound, Bubsky's on site, AWP's head's been seen. OC now knows exactly where both the CTs are, gets that headshot in for his three kills quadra ups effects there with the aug rounds that corner oh sonic facing in against glaive good kill the pre and bubsky on the last couple of players left sonic looking for another good entry frag baiting out the shoulder shot the pre can't connect the tag damage he does find sonic and that's the kit out of play as well so extra salt now got to act super quickly here marky and jt making their moves up flashbangs inbound Smoke on the bomb, tap the defuse. Mark is going to body block it. He sends the face in. Oh, he gets the kill. Dupree trades it. JT still on it, though. And Dupree finds the headshot regardless. UMP does catch up Bubsky in the upper side. So four versus two, making it three. Zipex with one good trade. Magis can't hold off against them. However, Deagle spamming away, and Zipex is all that remains here. Mac 10 bursting through. Can't catch those frags. They're all so, so low HP here for extra salt. They're on the bomb to tap it and stick the whole 10 seconds. Zipex being covered up by the scout in particular. Still faces around against Sonic and probably drops the round from that. Two kills up for him. Trying to take that third fight against OC. Right in the midst of the bomb to last radius. Oh, dear. It's a standoff, yeah. calling for support from the cave. <laughs> Out comes Madden. Oh! Nice shot from him. Yeah, this is infuriating. Oh. They know they've got him trapped, but he never gives them the fight. They never discovered, they never knew about dropping the bomb. However, big Madden, 33 kills deep and wanting to just, you know, play ancient for the rest of his career yeah. is on a tear. Three in the round. And this guy, oh... This map was made chance. for him. Made for him. The orb oh. dead as well. And the ace. Come on, Madden. Yes, baby. They've got to pick up the pace. They've got to get in here. They've dealt with Madden. Farley. Madden, 39 kills deep. And a swing onto Jax. Now just Amanek to beat. And he lines it up. Drop down into CT. Trying to cut off rotations. Oh. But this kind of hinges on his teammates actually getting into the bomb site. And Madden realizes, like, mate, I've just got to do it myself. And so oh. he will. A lot of damage onto Hunter. Wow. But he doesn't finish the job. And Hunter goes on to steal what? this round away. But there's only room for one of them in this town. Hunter, oh, lines up the double. And with that, wow. might be able to steal the round away. He's dropped the bomb. And he's saved the day for G2. Wow, what a round, dude. This guy's having an absolute mad map right now. Can he keep it up? Can he close? Steeko in the 1v2. Coming back in from upper. It's exactly what Hunter's watching. Ready, waiting, and clench. Steeko checking the wrong side. It's an apps drop. 
triple set up towards pit and graveyard and that is going to tear through these players getting what? out of apps nico's usp has found another oh no it might all draw to a very unfortunate close <laughs> just barley the usps are doing it to him oh so much damage but it is the game for g2 they take this series they end it